tell the people what part elevation has, if they need to move to a higher elevation, if that would help, as well as distance. Now, mm -hmm. the second thing I want to say about that is um, we know about, you know, the New World Order and all that. You know, George Bush is from originally Midland, Texas, and that's only 120 miles south of here. And he has a lot of friends in all over West Texas. And I am wondering, we're not getting, I mean, I looked at the leaves today outside. I went down outside and looked at the leaves. They're, they're perfect, and I'm wondering, you know, are some of these areas literally being protected? I know that, you know, HARP is able to control the weather. Um, you need to address that issue um, with this being George Bush country. Um, okay, and then the third thing I want to say for salinity, uh, excuse me, alkalinity in your water, mm -hmm. there's a product that costs less than a dollar a day. Uh, it's used by NASCAR drivers, and I've been using it for many, many months. People say, I'm 53 years old, and people say my skin looks like a teenager. For alkalinity in your water, it's got 72 minerals. It's amazing, and it's inexpensive, and it's um, just a little packet, and it's called Zuma. It's Zuma.com, X-O-O-M-A.com, X-O-O-M-A.com. And uh, it will, I mean, if it saves lives, that is wonderful. Thank you so much for all you've done, and I'm the West Texas Tree Report on YouTube, and you guys just keep going for it. We've got we to gotta get the truth out there, and we've got to uncover. I think the golf is a much, much bigger issue than what any of us are seeing, but we, if we all do our research and put our heads together, um, I don't know, but you, you guys just go for it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. You know, uh, Henning, um, she spoke a little bit about how this stuff travels uh, in relation to elevation. Have you done any research on that? Yeah, I actually was led on by a YouTuber who, who actually knew something about chemistry, and he, he drew a map over the United States, and I, I annexed that map because I found that was very important to get out. So I used it in one of my videos. I actually used it in several. It will be uh, the lower parts of uh, Texas towards Houston, and then it will be all the way up to Arkansas and even all the way up to Tennessee in the low elevation below 500 feet. These toxic fumes will lie in a, in a, in a blanket over the, the ground from ground level and up to 500 feet. Mm -hmm. What is above the 500 feet will be unscathed. They will not be touched by these toxins. It will only float in that height. And it's just a question of time when it starts to see through the ground. So would it be a would it be a uh, a product of uh, a, a fume, or would it be something that's in the rain? Because if it's in the rain, then I would think it would affect. Um, it doesn't matter what elevation you're at. No, it'll so, be a fume. It'll so be okay, it'll be almost like a fog, yeah. if you will. It will be the fumes which is shot through the layers because of the broken pipes. So now it's traveling through the layers. But as I earlier said, the, the layers are not very uh, solid. They are actually very brittle, and they kind of breathe, if you get my point. Right. They're not right. Like granite. So it will seep up, and it will just lie there in, in a height of ah, okay. 0 to 500 feet. And will go all the way up to Tennessee, and will go all the way in over uh, Florida, too. So it's that whole region down there, and it, it kind of has a, a peak in the Midwest where Tornado Alley is uh, located because that is low land. So it will crawl in in, in these sectors. But where it's, it's over 500 feet, you're okay, but not below. Well, that is interesting for sure. And, Susan, again, thank you for that phone call. Um, it certainly does um, get the debate going and, and get the mind going. Um, now, as far as the timeline is concerned, um, Henning, we'll start with you. How long do you see that, uh, obviously get out as soon as possible, but do you see like a drop dead date to where, um, people, uh, don't have the luxury of having time to get out? I would say a few weeks, then the, uh, the effect will really kick in. We're not done with hurricane season either, and that's going to contribute to the problem too. We just had this so-called bunny. What, what, what actually happened to that one? I was looking at some satellite images yesterday, and I didn't see a trace of anything. 
at all. I saw a few thunderclouds, but I didn't actually see a system. So I don't know what happened down in, in, in the Gulf, actually, regarding this tropical storm. I heard it was a fake, and I looked for myself to see if it was a fake, and I couldn't see anything. The only thing, the only thing that I know about it is that, according to everything that I read, it got to a tropical storm intensity, then it went over land over Miami, and that weakened it into, uh, I think, a tropical depression, maybe even less than that, and then it just fizzled going into the uh, Gulf until, like you said, it was just a, a, a line of thunderstorms. Really, is all it was, and. It's interesting because normally when things go into the Gulf, every time that I've seen a, a storm go into the Gulf, it intensifies because of the warm water. So I don't, I don't, I have no idea. I'm no meteorologist for sure, but I do know that that Griff and your uh, cohort in crime there, uh, Kimberly, you guys follow this stuff all the time. Is there anything that you guys saw uh, strange about this storm? Oh yes, yes. Uh, since uh, Katrina and Rita. Uh, back in back in those days, those hurricanes were allowed to uh, um, come into the United States. Since that time, almost all of the hurricanes uh, threatening the U.S. have been negated. They have been been canceled uh, by the American military or and or the uh, the American science community. So I wouldn't expect to see any more hurricanes come in. Now, when they do that, they uh, they offset the uh, rainfall in the United States, and you. You can see uh, uh, droughts as a result of stopping the the storms. You depend on the storms for a lot of the rainfall. You see, so there's a, pre a price to pay. Also, the earthquakes that are appearing in uh, Oklahoma and Arkansas right now, a string of them, um, they are creating uh, pressure zones, and that will also uh, deter the uh, hurricanes from further advancing. There's uh, weather wars going on over the United States for the last many, many years. Um, the the Russian scalar interferometers have been manipulating weather, causing flooding, uh, earthquakes, and so on. As uh, the Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, said in 1997, he talked about it on the record. You can Google search for William Cohen, 1997. It was a terrorist speech made in Atlanta, Georgia, and he talked about what they're capable of doing with Tesla scalar weapons. They can cause earthquakes, weather modifications, manipulations, um, and, and a, a, just a series of other uh, Tesla-type phenomena. The uh, United States now is coming up to speed slowly. Israel has it. Brazil has it. China has it. Many countries have it. About 10 countries have the, uh, these uh, sophisticated uh, ultimate weapon systems. Your atomic bomb and, and alike is old old technology compared to the scalar. They could turn an entire city to rubble without ever leaving their their building in Russia or some of the other countries if they wanted to. And every country knows that too. The only people that don't know it are the people. <laughs> the, the American people wouldn't believe it if you told them. They took down the Challenger. They took down the Columbia. They took down the Thresher submarine with 127 American sailors on board. So it's been uh, been applied many, many times. And uh, again, uh, do a search for mysterious booms, B-O-O-M-S, and you will find page after page after page of of stories from all over the country, all saying the same thing: that a mysterious boom rolled across the heaven, it shook the houses, shook the land. Hundreds of phone calls went into police, but nobody knew what they were. Now, that is a manifestation of tuning the scalar transmitters, and you get that boom that rolls on for minutes and minutes and shakes houses and shakes the ground. But uh, nobody will follow up on it. Uh, the pe people are asleep. The press is dead, and uh, there you are. And it goes on the Internet, and then it dies. The Air Force uh, tells the people they don't know anything about it. I've read so many articles like that where the American military um, it tells the people that it was not aircraft, it wasn't this, it wasn't that, and then the story dies. So there you are, Joe. Very, very interesting. And uh, I, do you guys see, uh, Henning, you go first, do you guys see the Gulf turning into a dead zone? Yeah, with all these chemicals they're spraying into it, yeah, I do, unfortunately. The 
because there is still current going around inside the Gulf itself, but the loop current